Good day, people. God bless. This is an episode of God Loves You. I'm Minister Marcus Jackson. Thank Jehovah God and Jesus Christ for another blessed day. Be born again. Repent from your sins. Start fresh and stop sinning. Sin is disobeying Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ and their rules. Sin ends in death. Love makes you evolve. Faith seals your fate. B, C, and A, D, we're on God's time. Love Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ with all your heart, mind, and soul. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Today I'm going to be talking about sex. Sex is good. Be fruitful and multiply. Sex. Sex is good. Be fruitful and multiply. Sex is love. Sex is not hatred. When people have sex, they are loving each other. But sex is not the only way to love. Sex is just one way to love. Heterosex is good sex. Heterosexual sex not only feels good, but is good. Sex produces life. Without sex or the release of sperm of a man by being sexual, whether he masturbates to produce sperm for artificial insemination or he releases sperm in a woman, sex reproduces life. Whether a man has sex with a woman to produce a baby or he has sex, Sex is good, but Jehovah produced and made sex for us to have sex to reproduce and feel good at the same time. Humans and animals and insects and plants need sex to further life on earth. Without sex, the animals and people, the insects and plants on earth would die off and there will be just earth, no animals or people or plants or insects. Many people have sex because it feels good. And most of the time they have unplanned pregnancies. Most people want sex so much that they have sex with people just because they look good, even if they're not married or in a relationship with that person. Sex without being in a relationship or being not married and sexing different people or committing adultery and cheating on your spouse causes diseases and unwanted babies, which leads to abortions and STDs. Being homosexual sex, which is sex with the same sex, is not good. It might feel good, but it doesn't reproduce. It doesn't bring forth life. Homosex also causes diseases like HIV or monkeypox. Sex is good. Be fruitful and multiply. Sex is good. Be fruitful and multiply. Sex improves women's bladder control, Sex can lower blood pressure. Sex burns calories. Sex strengthens muscles. Sex helps your immune system by increasing the number of antibodies in your bloodstream. Sex even eases stress. Sex is good. Be fruitful and multiply. Sex is good. Be fruitful and multiply. During sex, Men and women have orgasms. Orgasms is a release of fluids from men and women private. Orgasms get rid of tension. Orgasms reduce prostate cancer. Orgasms bring extra nutrients and oxygen to the brain. Sex can be good and bad, though. Sex is a great pleasure 
and gives people a great feeling and produces babies in life. But sex can also be bad. Sex causes STDs, unwanted babies, an extreme craving that makes people want sex so bad that they even rape people. Sex is good, though. Be fruitful and multiply. Sex is good. Be fruitful and multiply. STDs are herpes, which causes genital pain and sores. Chlamydia, which causes genital pain, soreness, and a liquid discharge from the private area. HPV causes warts in parts of the body. Gonorrhea causes discharge from the private areas and causes infertility, which prevents women from having pregnant babies. HIV, which is a virus that attacks the immune system, causes AIDS. Syphilis is a bacteria infection that starts as a painless sore. All of these diseases can be cured or treated with medication. Not cheating on your husband or your wife or your boyfriend or girlfriend and being cured from STDs will prevent you from spreading and catching STDs. Most won't make you die, but some will make you die, but most will not make you die, but they will make you sick. Desire and lust are two different things. Sexual desire for your wife or your husband is good and it promotes life. But lust is a desire that has people craving many people's flesh when they already have their own wife or husband at home. Sex is good. Be fruitful and multiply. Sex is good. Be fruitful and multiply. Sex is mostly between younger people. Most people start having sexual contact or sex after puberty, 13 of age or after. The schools teach sexual education and, and school. Many old people don't have sex, but a man does still get aroused and horny in his late 70s and 80s. That's why you see older men with a lot of younger women. Most women don't have children if they are older than 50. But some men have children with younger women even after they're older than 50 and over. Sex is good. Be fruitful and multiply. Sex is good. Be fruitful and multiply. Sex is good, but if you don't want to catch STDs and still want to gratify yourself, sometimes it's good to masturbate. If you don't masturbate or have sex, you lose that sexual desire for a woman or a man. Masturbation there is no catching STDs, unwanted babies, spouse abuse. However, now you don't have the real thing, a person to feel or smell or touch or love. Sex is good. Be fruitful and multiply. Sex is good. Be fruitful and multiply. You got people who believe in sterilization. If you sterile everyone, there will be no seed to plant in the garden. The woman is the garden and the sperm is the seed. If there are no seeds, there will be no plants, trees, vegetables, life, and the earth will be dead. Don't stop men from reproducing or craving women. Stop the sexually immoral, the adulterers who cheat and break up relationships. The lusters who crave women so much that they want to rape them. Sex is good. 
Be fruitful, multiply. Sex is good. Be fruitful, multiply. It is written in Genesis 1.28. And Almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ blessed Adam and Eve and said to them, Be fruitful, multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish and over the sea and over the birds in the heavens and over every living thing that moves on earth. It is written in Mark 10, 6 through 9. At the beginning of creation, Almighty Jehovah God made male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united with his wife. And the two will become one flesh. Therefore, what God has put together, let no man put asunder. It is written in Leviticus 18.22, You should not lie with a man as you will with a woman. It is an abomination. It is written in Leviticus 18.23, You should not lie with any animal and make for yourself unclean with it. Neither shall a woman give herself to any animal and lie with it. It is a perversion. You got some women who have sex with horses. You got some men who are trying to have sex with apes. Sex is good. Be fruitful, multiply. Sex is good. Be fruitful, multiply. It is written in 1 Corinthians 6, 9. The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived, neither the sexually immoral, the idolaters, or the adulterers nor the men who practice homosexuality would inherit the kingdom of God. It is written in 1 Timothy 1.10, the sexually immoral, men who practice homosexuality, the enslavers like the pimps, the liars, and the perjurers will not inherit the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is life. The kingdom of God is life. Sex is good. Be fruitful and multiply. Sex is good. Be fruitful and multiply. It is written in Leviticus 2018. If a man lies with a woman during her menstrual period, it is abomination. It is forbidden. It is written in 1 Corinthians 7, 5. Don't refuse sex to each other unless you agree not to have sex for a little while in order to spend time in prayer. Other than that, sex is, with your spouse is necessary. It is written in Genesis 21, so Almighty Jehovah God caused the deep sleep to fall upon man Adam, and while he was asleep, Jehovah took one of his ribs and closed it in the place where his flesh was. And the rib that Jehovah had taken from the man, he made into woman. Then Adam said, this at last is my bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. And she be called woman because she was taken from the womb of man. Therefore, a man should leave his mother and father and hold fast to his wife, and they should become one flesh. Sex is good. Be fruitful and multiply. Sex is good. Be fruitful and multiply. Sex is real good. It feels good. It produces life, which is good. It's good. But you have to be careful who you have sex with. You know, some men have sex with women that are already pregnant, women that have STDs, women that want their child just because they can get some money, women who do all kind of things. Women have sex with men because they can get some money from them or because they can have some man of hers beat up and murdered or, you know, people have sex for many different devious reasons. 
But Almighty Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, created sex to feel good and to be good and to live good and have goodness, which is life. Almighty Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, thank you for another day. You know, some men have sex in, in different ways or they want to they want to play roles and you know that they ha they have perverted sex is what i'm saying you know they they and i'm not going to get into the specifics but just remember it's perverted sex it's not sex of goodness or sex of uh procreation it's it's just perverted sex and that's not good either and the bible is written the sexually immoral and the Bible was written, some sexes are perverted. So don't have perverted sex. Just have good sex and righteous sex. Now, all sex, all sex isn't, isn't forbidden. All sex is good. Kissing and other kinds of sex with your oral mouth. With your oral mouth. That's not bad. You know, God gives us pleasure. But God doesn't want us to commit adultery. God doesn't want us to cheat. God doesn't want us to have sex for different reasons. God wants us to have sex, not just because it feels good, but because it makes babies. God wants us to have sex for the right reason. Because if you don't, you'll come up with STDs. If you don't, you can die from some of the STDs. See, so you must have good sex and righteous sex and safe sex. And some people say safe sex, I can wear a condom, wear a condom. Condoms don't always work. You know, I mean, you uh, a disease that's in a person's body can be contracted in different ways. Even if you have oral sex, a person can ha bite their tongue and uh, or have some kind of stuff in their gums, which is blood, and that blood can get in a person, another person's body and give them HIV. So, uh, you know, all sex isn't protected unless you're protected. First and foremost, get cured if you have a sickness. And then get married and don't cheat on your boyfriend or your wife or husband. That's how you keep the sex between each other who are safe and who are cured. Then you know that since they are cured and safe and they're not going out catching nothing, that you will never catch nothing. Almighty Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, rules, rule the world. Thank you, Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, for another day. Thank you for another blessed day. This concludes the episode of God Loves You. I'm Minister Marcus Jackson. Thank Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, for another blessed day. Be born again, repent from your sins. Start fresh and stop sinning. Sin is disobeying almighty Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, and their rules. Sin ends in death. Love makes you evolve. Faith seals your fate. B.C. and A.D., we're on God's time. Love almighty Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, with all your heart, mind, and soul. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. Thank almighty Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, for another blessed day. Sex is good. Sex is good. Be fruitful and multiply. Jehovah God, Jesus Christ said, be fruitful. That means be freaky. And we're not trying to say what other people are doing sexually and more things, but he said, be fruitful. Meaning get juicy. Have a good time. Be fruitful and make it sweet. Be fruitful, but multiply with your wife or your husband and or your boyfriend, which is also one flesh, your mate. Be fruitful, multiply. Thank you, almighty Jehovah God and Jesus Christ, for another blessed day. We're going to end this off with the Lord's Prayer, the one and only prayer Jesus Christ told us to pray. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Please give us this day our daily bread. Please forgive our trespasses as we have forgiven those who have trespassed against us. Please let us not into temptation, but take us away from evil. For thine is the kingdom, for thine is the power, for thine is the glory, forever and ever and ever, almighty Jehovah God, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. Remember, sex is good if you do it right. Sex is good out of sight. Be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply.